The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Dean Ambrose. Man, listening to the reaction this guy gets from a crowd never gets old. If he doesn't win here tonight, I'm afraid we're going to see a lot of unhappy faces in the crowd. Oh, wah, 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 cry me a river. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. He looks geared up. And there's the bell. This one-on-one -on -one battle is underway and you can cut the tension with a knife. Many pundits still believe there's no better way to settle a score than two people getting in that ring and fighting. Crossroads. Neither competitor is backing down here. Yeah, and you could cut the tension with a knife. I mean, no one's giving an inch. Oh, this is a standoff. In the WWE's more than 50 years in existence, I don't think there's ever been someone as dark, demented, and dangerous as Bray Wyatt. His lust for psychological manipulation and inflicting physical pain on others is beyond disturbing. It's outright maniacal. The man describes himself as the eater of worlds. You can see that's a bit, oh, I don't know, unusual? Oh, I might add alarming to that. But your description of Bray Wyatt might be the most detailed and correct thing you've ever said. I'd like to go old school when I talk about Bray Wyatt and just say the guy's a good old fashioned creep. is chilling in every sense of the word. The look in his eyes and his slow, calculated walk to the ring lets you know he's waiting to unleash evil. That's a very unsettling feeling. Boom! What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Michael, you can just tell by how Bray Wyatt enters an arena, how he sits in his rocking chair, and how he enters the ring that he searches to bring his adversaries to new levels of physical and emotional pain. It's like he's in an alternate realm, and the rest of us are just watching. I actually think he's psychotic, personally. So from Ambrose. Oh, that was slick. Ow. Ooh. Oh, man, is he fired up. Oh, going to the top. High risk. Oh, man, from the high risk district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Wow, I cannot believe Dean Ambrose got out of that one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at this. 
Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. In the mid-2000s, Dean Ambrose became known on the independent wrestling circuit for taking and dishing out ungodly amounts of punishment. To fans around the world, Ambrose emerged in 2012 as the eccentric leader of the Hounds of Justice, known as the Shield. Oh, Ambrose emerged as the leader of the Shield, all right. When they arrived in WWE, the Hounds of Justice planned and carried out vicious attacks on all of WWE's most beloved heroes. Getting some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Two. Camel Clutch locked in. Wrenching on the neck and lower back. Bray Wyatt is looking incredibly impressive as of late. We're looking at complete domination here. While viscerating oh. WWE's most revered figures, Dean Ambrose became the 77th individual to hold the prestigious United States Championship, a prize that dates back to 1975 in the NWA, when WWE Hall of Famer Harley Race defeated Johnny Weaver to become the first champion. Dean Ambrose able to break free. Look at it this way. Wyatt is just so sneaky. Yeah. Wyatt is so dangerous on so many different levels. He's got him. Going for broke. Incredible move by... Dean Ambrose. You know, Michael, we've talked about the career of Dean Ambrose, leading the unstoppable force known as the Shield, becoming United States champion. And there's the butterfly DDT. Why would you name something as vicious as a DDT? A butterfly. trying to build momentum. Not today, too fast. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. Clearly on a mission here. Even if you can get back to your feet after a move like that, at this stage of the match, you're still struggling to find your balance. Here we go, Bray Wyatt setting it up. Look at running set time. This one's in the books. Call it a night. Makes the cover. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to you live from the capital of North Carolina, Raleigh. Bray Wyatt being pressed hard. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. He's got him down. Paul, is this it? It could be. I think the statement holds true. Ambrose is an enigma to the fans and WWE roster of superstars. No one has any idea what Dean Ambrose is going to do until it happens. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, Bray Wyatt. And felt that. Here we go. He made it. He made it to the ropes. Uh-oh. Big move coming. Hey, he's going for it again. Oh, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. Hey, the shoulders are down. Two. Here we go again. Dean Ambrose has never been afraid of a little showing off. Ambrose answers with a reversal. Oh, you never know what Dean Ambrose is thinking. That's what makes him so dangerous. I don't know about you, but Raleigh is by far one of my favorite cities to travel to while on the road with WWE. These fans are so passionate and engaged. 
I like what I'm seeing here from Dean Ambrose. We've really seen one amazing move after another in this one. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. He's too busy bragging and boasting than battling in this matchup. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Here we go. Here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. I think we may be moments away from seeing his breaking point. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. We might be seeing the beginning of the end. That's it. He's done. Now that's a finishing move. This his shoulders are down. Two. It's no surprise that Sayers your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy, that was a spectacular performance. Let's see what happened during that incredible matchup. Oh, what a spectacular match. I can't believe what we just saw. Here's your winner, Dean Ambrose. Now that's earning a well-fought victory. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was.